Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Instant ID Automatic Lanida. And then here you can see Celebrate results with Instant ID. It's kind, kind of amazing. You only need one picture like this. So here, this is my residence that I also made in IP adapters. I am very automatic. And this is like my model for the the control net. Basically, this is like the face points. You just need this uh, two maps to make uh, the pictures like I have here. I'm going to show you a couple more examples I have that I've been doing with the infinite image browser. So, um, if we come back in here, probably from this, maybe. And this is like a couple more examples I did. So, more or less, you can see some of the results if you want to install this. It's very easy to install, but yeah, you can see how the, it transferred the different styles and stuff. And to have this effect, and basically, I'm running the style selector. I'm gonna show you is there's a, a script that you can install by going into extensions and then looking for available and look for a style selector and just searching here. And it should appear is this one in the style selector itself. And also, you're gonna need, of course, the web UI control net by Mikubil. Just yes, get the Mikubil. And to get that image browser that I have is this one web UI infinite image browser. So get these three extensions if you want to have exactly like me. And to reproduce something similar to this, I'm using RDL Vision V3 Furbo XDXL with the Y, the BAE, the Kerin. So this is a Turbo XDXL model, and this thing only works with XDXL, by the way. I'm using uh, 14 steps, which is more than enough. And also you have the DPN KMS um, sampler. I'm using 1000 by 1000 because there is some uh, glitch that doesn't allow you to go to 1024. If you go to 1024, you're gonna get like uh, some uh, glitches with your image. And if you use like a, a different aspect ratio, like an elongated uh, aspect ratio, you get like elongated and next and that kind of stuff. But those are things that will be ironed out like soon because this implementation is still gone quite quick. And um, I'm using this template for the for the prompt, right? So you don't see any prompt in there, but I have this template done and running. Then I'm gonna explain that, uh, I'm gonna leave it in the description so I don't have to explain it that, that all right. So to explain the control net, basically you're gonna need two units in the control net and you're gonna enable one, put your reference in there as an image and then use Eastern ID in here and you're gonna need a preprocessor in the first unit, like the unit zero. You're gonna need to put the preprocessor to Instant ID face embedding and the IP adapter as a control net. So you want to need IP adapter, Instant ID, XDXL as a control net. And by the way, if you want to have like the more strength in the style and everything, I recommend you to put this weight a little bit and less, like 0 0.85, 0 0.9. So don't leave it at one because otherwise the, the style won't transfer that well from the prompt, right? Because what is, this is doing is basically augmenting the prompt. And by putting the weight like this, um, you are leaving a bit a bit more room for the prompt. And you can even put like the prompt is more important and that will even get more strength to the prompt. And in the second control net, you will add like an oil face. As you can see here, I have even an Asian woman. It's not the same person. You, you can use any person. And um, as long as it's a portrait, it will work well. If you want to do something like a full face, then a full uh, body uh, shot, then you're probably going to need a third control net to explain, to control the, the pose. But uh, this thing works a lot better for portraits than for uh, long shots, okay? So in this second control net, you will add like the preprocessor, you put a key point preprocessor and the control net is the XDXL for the mold. 
and you lift the weight as one and that's that's basically it to run your thing we can run another one here while we explain our things by the way you have to go into your settings and make sure that in your control net um, tab you have the cache size up to two because we are using two control nets and otherwise it will all slow them all and then preload it back it will take too long so that way it's a little bit better and you can also set the amount of units that you want to put and these are like my settings for like my speed of things my optimizations basically just using a CP attention um, the, there is also a bit of X formats here I'm not sure if this had to be different I think they don't work if you put X formats but anyway uh, option channel last they will be good to put and also this one the garbage collection threshold it can improve your speed so I'm gonna put this in here also in the description so you have a similar settings to me if you want to have that and this is like the Linux file if you want to see the if you want to see a Windows file it's a bad file that you can use and it looks similar to this so I'm gonna put it in here but it looks similar to this so I'm gonna put that in the description maybe so you can have that and if you have any trouble with the installation I think when you start uh, with the web UI it will install all the requirements for the latest uh, control it after you restart the machine and start again the web UI you will install all the requirements and if you have any trouble try to pip install the inside face just activate your environment with this uh, command and then pip install and move into a control led folder of course do a git pull and then you pip install the requirements inside uh, the bend for automatic um, also this inside face is the one that normally gives you trouble and maybe you can also install on some runtime so I think it's something like this and and the thing is pip install on its runtime uh, GPU so you need this to uh, maybe I'm gonna show you that someone else had like a that same sort of troll if you can see here they this is in OS X so maybe you can look in here into this uh, command to install it if you have problems in Mac okay guys and guys we're gonna let the, the discussion section there is a thread about how to install the modes and to start the mods, I'm gonna put this in the description, but the important thing is that you go ahead and once you put it in your control net folder for automatic 11.11, like it says here, and you change the name of the IP adapter that you're gonna download, change it to, uh, to this name in here, and the control net, you change it to this in here, this name. I'm gonna show you how I have it in my machine okay and I'm gonna show you where to put the molds and the molds you wanna go into your mold folder for a stable diffusion so you go into a stable diffusion uh, web UI folder and then you will have a molds folder and then inside you will have the control net folder and in here I'm gonna put my control instant ID XDX and save then the IP adapter too so I'm gonna have to raise this one I get up to ask Eastern IDX the extent of BIM. And I don't think there is a 1.5 yet, so there are no 1.5, but when they arrive, they will be similar to this. They will be 1.5 IP adapter or something like that. And if you have trouble with the annotators, you just have to go into your stable diffusion folder extensions. There is the control net extension and the annotator folder. And inside the inside face, is find the molds and then antelopep2. And in here, you can put these molds in here. I'm gonna put the links for this just in case, but I think this one's get downloaded. Like when you, you first use the Eastern ID, they will download like any other preprocessor inside. But automatic control net so well that was all for this i i just want to leave you here with some more of the pictures that i made guys 
Glist. And this one, the style for this was a uh, Renaissance. Let's go and see how they look. They look really cool. I really like uh, digging this style. And let's go and check more of the Infinite Image Browser to see how this came up. Glist, glist. And yeah, so basically, super nice. Glist, 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 glist. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.